Hey guys, guys are getting ready for welcome back to the game room. I didn't really want to make this video, but after some incidents that happened over the last couple of weeks, I'm going to, and it is about my local GameStop. So if you want to know what I've got to say, stick around. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. So, you all have heard me on the channel before praise my local GameStop. Um, it was the, the best GameStop around, um, and I never really understood, like, what the fuss was, everyone complaining about GameStop time and time again on YouTube and other social media platforms uh, until now, uh, really, the last couple of weeks. Um, the management at my local GameStop has changed uh, probably like four or five times in the, the last uh, couple of years, uh, which I would say has a lot to do with it. Um, I don't know if that's representative of GameStop as a corporation as a whole, or if it's just uh, my local GameStop. Uh, I've not done any research or analysis or anything and went to other GameStops to see, uh, but I would suspect um, that... GameStop as a corporation um, probably uh, is going downhill would be my guess um, my guess is we would see a uh, you know, KB Toy Stores, Toys R Us Sears uh, Circuit City uh, with GameStop in our future uh, but I don't know it may just be my GameStop so we're going to start with kind of the management. Um, I had two managers back-to-back uh, -back, uh, that were, were absolutely great. Uh, one of them being Holly. Um, when I really got into to collecting and putting together the game room and stuff, uh, I went to GameStop because it's the only game store local to me. Um, and I got to know Holly you know, fairly well um, as a regular. Uh, very passionate about our job, knew what was going on, you know, knew about uh, different games coming out and could give you recommendations and things like that. And I trusted that and I enjoyed that. I enjoyed going into my local GameStop just to chat with Holly and the other employees that worked there at that time. Um, she went on to bigger and better things. And then uh, Brendan took over, uh, who was Holly's assistant uh, when she was there. So he was on the exact same wavelength, wavelength as she was. Uh, nothing really changed. Uh, it uh, stayed, you know, pretty good and still went in there and chit chatted. You know, they knew me by my name. You know, they knew about the channel. Um, and it was, uh, you know, a good time, good store to go to. Um, that was when I was singing the praises of, uh, of GameStop. Uh, and then it changed uh, again. And it was, it was okay at that, at that point. Um, and then it changed managers again, and I don't know where it started going downhill. They done a remodel and got rid of some games, um, and I understand that you have to do that, you know, when newer gen stuff's coming out. So you know they pared down their PS3, Xbox 360, and their Wii and Wii U stuff, 3DS stuff. Um, and I get that, uh, and that's really the stuff, not the stuff that I was looking for, anyway. But they started getting in more pops and clothing and pop culture stuff um, and although I do you know collect uh, some toys and some figures um, that you all will see in the upcoming game room tour which was actually the video you were going to get uh, tomorrow as of filming this um, but uh, it's not you're going to get this one instead um, but uh, pops really isn't my thing and then like just Chotsky stuff like um, money grab stuff is uh, what they've really kind of moved into. And I went in there um, last week or so, and that yet another manager. I had no idea this guy was a manager. Uh, and and I'm not downing anyone at all. But if you're the manager of a of a store, um, present yourself as a manager of a store. Um, don't present yourself as 
just some random guy coming in off the street looking for a video game. You're supposed to be running that store. Um, and I don't know if it's a a combination of like corporate GameStop mixed with uh, the way society is now. And uh, some of y'all may not like it, uh, but from my experience, I'm not talking about everyone, uh, but from my experience, there's a lot of people out there that do not want to work right now. Um, and if you have means of supporting yourself, I, I get that, I suppose. Uh, but we still need people to do jobs, so someone has to work. Um, so they're finding people that really don't want to work. They just want the money. They want the paycheck. Um, and the current manager of GameStop, I don't see as being someone that's passionate about video games, uh, that wants to be there, wants to sell video games, and wants to grow his store to, again, be the best store in the region. I see him as there collecting a paycheck. Um, so I'm sure that takes a hit, you know. Um, and they, they just don't present themselves as a, a corporate game store. Now, I get that that's a double-edged sword. Uh, I get that, you know, uh, collectors don't want to go into a, you know, a, a clean corporate, this is, you know, cut and dry, all about making money, video game store to get video games. Uh, but let's face it, uh, the, the the collectors like you and I, the people watching this video, more than likely aren't going into GameStop to build their game collection. Um, they're going into to GameStop to find maybe some, some figures or some trinkets or, you know, they're a member of uh, Game Informer uh, thing that they do and they get $5 coupons. So they're going in to get a, you know, a free game, which I ended up doing today um or they're just going in to pick up you know the the new release title um what i envision gamestop as is that's where parents and grandparents go to buy kids video games because they don't know where else to go uh, or they get oh you know little bobby likes video games let's get him a gamestop gift card there's one down the street from their house so then he goes there and he spends his gift card on on whatever uh, that's who GameStop is for now, and that is fine, but if that's the clientele that your store is for, then present yourself as a manager for that type of clientele. Um, anyway, enough of that. So I'll go in there, and I'll throw some pictures up, because um, I asked the, 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 the gentleman, the boy, the kid, the guy uh, working, uh, if, are they closing this location? Uh, and he was like, he was like, no, we're you know just low in inventory right now. But it appears to me, whether he knows it or not, uh, in my life experience, when ninety percent of your stores on clearance, which you can see in these pictures that I'll throw up, uh, that is from today, um, ninety percent of the stores on clearance, they're clearance on a lot of stuff. Uh, and the game shelves are very bare. To be a store called GameStop, they have very few games in the store. Uh, shelves are looking bare, guys. Uh, so that's why I don't think that the GameStop in my local area is going to be around much longer. I don't know if it's an isolated incident or if it's a uh, corporate-wide incident. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, are your, your GameStops clearancing out a bunch of stuff? Um, you know, are they low on inventory? Does it look like they're just not doing well? Uh, and, and that's sad because, again, that's the only game store local to me. Uh, to where I don't have to drive 20 or, or 30 minutes uh, to get there. Uh, but we will see, I guess. Anyway, while I was there, I did get two games because I had some points to spend. Um... Uh, and uh, I had uh, my $5 monthly coupon. Uh, they did have a bin. Um, I don't know if I got a picture of it in these pictures or not. I had a bin of clearance games. Clearance games for 30% off. Um, so, again, trying to get rid of those clearance games. Uh, Dolman on PS5 uh, was on clearance. Um, it was uh, like $9 or something like that. And then 30% off of that. Um, and then I had a $5 coupon. So this one was basically free. 
with my five dollar coupon. No, nothing about it, uh, but a free PS5 game. I'll take it and we'll give it a play and see if I like it. Uh, this next game um, I got uh, for I think it was fifteen dollars, fourteen ninety nine, because um, I think it was priced at twenty four ninety nine new, um, and then I had a I had enough points to get a ten dollar off coupon. Uh, but I've heard good things about this game. I've not played it. Don't really know a whole lot about it. Uh, but I'm going to give it a shot and see. And that is the query. Uh, and PS5 game for 15 bucks uh, that I've heard good things about. Uh, you really can't go wrong there. So I'm looking forward to giving this one a play and seeing. Uh, but it was really hard to kind of go through there and find something that I wanted. Um, because they didn't have anything. Uh, but again, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I know this was a super simple video, but just something that I wanted to talk about. And again, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what your GameStop's like. You know, uh, do you think that uh, GameStop will, will be around into you know 2024, 2025, uh, or do you think that they're in trouble and you know they may uh, be a rocky road ahead of them? Uh, guys, let me know. Thanks for watching. If you're not done, so hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, hit that like button if you like the video. Ring that bell for notifications. You will be notified when I post a video for you. Until next time.